Five weeks, five incredible acts of bravery. You have heard their stories and you have cast your votes. Who will be the 2010 Centrum Guardian? You know, John Wayne said, true courage is being scared to death, but saddling up anyway. At a prestigious ceremony last week, the Centrum Guardian finalists waited to hear who would take away the title. 25,000 votes came in, and up until the closing hour, it was a close race. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Our first finalist, Mervyn van Ginkel. Firefighter Mervyn van Ginkel, who responded to a call that a teenage girl at a local hospital was attempting to jump off a third floor ledge. I started talking to her to, to try and get her to trust me. And uh, that's when we made eye contact. Then the rope reached its safety limit and Mervyn weighed up his options. Mervyn released his safety line and cautiously moved closer to the girl. By putting his own life on the line, he managed to pull her to safety. To Lucilia Nkosi. To Lucilia Nkosi was off duty when she witnessed a car swerving violently over a steep embankment and plunging into a dam. When I got there, I saw the car was already inside the water. Tuli was faced with a frightening dilemma. She had no backup, and worse, she cannot swim. She made a split-second decision and waded into the water. How would somebody feel that the one moment thinks it's the end of his life, the next minute uh, a lifeline gets thrown to you? Tuli found a strength beyond her small frame and hauled survivor Joe Ace to safety. Sean Serfontaine. The rescue swimmer Sean Serfontaine joined a Transnet National Port Authority helicopter on a rescue mission. With 17 sailors, the vessel sinking, they are abandoning their vessel to life raft. Being lowered down was, yes, it was scary. Having to let the hook go was saying, well, there goes my lifeline. Sean was plunged into the inky water below. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't have climbed in the water. Not in those conditions at all. You're going to bring up one at a time. Yeah, we can do one at a time now. Three hours after Sean and the crew heard the call, they had lifted 17 sailors into the helicopter one by one. George Hilton, Vinton Alfreds and Andries van der Berg. On a wet and stormy night, George, Vinton and Andries rushed to the scene of an accident. A bus had overturned, trapping a young girl. When we first got the call, the call and they said there was a kid, kid trapped under the bus, the only thing you want to get there. The crew was under pressure to free the girl in less than an hour. Time is so, so precious, we got a golden hour, 60 minutes from the time that you get the call to get the patient out. The tight space made the rescue difficult and drawn out. After more than an hour, the crew heard from outside. Paramedics wanted to amputate the girl's arm. George, Andres and myself looked at each other and we knew that that's not going to happen. The three dug furiously to free the girl and carry her to safety. Dion Alberts, Egnel Brown and Charles Niot. A family travelling towards the Breda River plunged off a flooded bridge and was swept away. Dion, Charles and Egnel responded to the call. A mother and child and another man had been spotted clinging to trees. She was shouting that she's going to let us go because she can't hold anymore. The team plunged into the raging waters, a high-risk rescue that pushed them to 100% and beyond. I take my, my safety rope off and put it onto the child and they just pull the child back to the, to the bank. And the marketing manager for Centrum, Sue Cartwright, has the envelope. Thank you very much. The 2010 Centrum Guardian of the Year. Well, it's actually Guardians. Sean Newt, Dion Alberts, Egnel Brown. Yeah, I'm a bit overwhelmed at the moment. <laughs> it feels good to take it to the Western Cape. <laughs> to you at home, thank you for watching and voting. I hope you've been inspired by these wonderful people and their selfless dedication to keeping us safe. Until next year, from me and the Centrum Guardian Project team, good night 
and remember to always live life at 100%.